We're here with newly elected Senator Mike Lee from Utah. Senator, this is your first time speaking at CPAC. How did it feel? It felt great. It's good to be here with 10,000 or so conservatives who feel the same way I do, that the federal government's gotten too big and too expensive. It's a, it's a good feeling. Now, you have uh, introduced a balanced budget amendment. There are some other competing balanced budget amendments floating around in the Republican caucus. What separates yours from the rest? Uh, my balanced budget amendment, which we're calling the Lee Kyle proposal, uh, as John Kyle from Arizona is co-sponsoring it with me, is that my amendment can't be circumvented except by a two-thirds supermajority vote. The other competing amendments out there can all be circumvented by a simple majority vote. We can't have that because Congress can uh, already just borrow money from our unborn grandchildren. We can't allow that con to continue. What we need is to put Congress in a straitjacket so that Congress can't spend more than it takes in any given year, can't spend more than 18 percent of GDP, can't raise the debt ceiling, and can't increase taxes without two-thirds of both houses of Congress concurring in that judgment. Mine's the only proposal that does all those things, and I think all those things are absolutely necessary to the success of this effort. We have a big vote coming up on whether or not to increase the debt ceiling. Where do you stand on this issue? Well, I oppose it, and I'm going to fight to stop it. Um, if, if this administration and if the Democrats really want to negotiate, if they want to spend more money, uh, I don't think we can allow them to even come close to raising the debt ceiling unless or until they've agreed to the straitjacket that I'm talking about.